Margie Wilcox and Jerry Carl start the day in the same place, the Grand Bay Community Center, for breakfast. Oh, thank y'all to the hands that prepared the food. She starts here, then knocks on doors later. All right, well, I appreciate y'all's vote. Carl's next stop was at the annual Chocolate Festival. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? It's been an aggressive campaign. What have I done wrong? What have I done right? Uh, you know, I, 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 I paid 50 miles a road. I, We've replaced six major bridges. We've, we've, we've done a tremendous amount in the school system. Good morning. Hey, how are you? Wilcox also trying to get her voters out. Actually, the last couple of weeks, the response has been incredible from the voters. Uh, I think the messages are very well received. The two candidates even differing on how they spend their campaign cash. Jerry Carl holding back, still leaving a sizable chunk in the bank, and Margie Wilcox spending nearly all the money she's raised. We plan to spend it all, so we're going to wind up with um, zero in the account and probably going into... Uh, Probably a little bit of debt on this, but we had to get the message out. Well, don't spend it just because you have it. We, we spend it based on what, what we feel like our needs are. Uh, there'll always be last-minute stuff, but we're, we're in good shape. I feel like we are. Wilcox still has about $10,000 left compared to Carl's 48000 as of Friday's campaign filing. In Mobile County, Chad Petrie, News 5.